Um, so, my name is Julian. Um, I work for a startup called RCAI. First time you ever hear the name, trust me, not the last, right? And you'll remember, oh, I saw that guy in Vegas, right? Mark my words. So, what do we do? Um, well, we're the specialists of small language models. And I guess I will explain what those models are and why they are the future. So a lot of customers over the last two years have adopted AI, and that's great, across industries, across use cases, across company sizes. And probably they've done that with closed models, right? OpenAI, Anthropic, and others. And I guess as a first step, that's fine. But then, very quickly, those customers realize, well, we are really renting those models, right? We're paying per token. Um, and why would you rent something when you can actually own it? And in the case of AI models, there are a lot of benefits in owning your AI. The first one is obvious, and I think it should resonate to telco customers. It's, of course, deploying those models on your infrastructure, which, which could be on-prem, which could be cloud, private cloud, or which could be at the edge, instead of sending your data to a third-party API hosted somewhere else by someone else. So in terms of privacy for your data, your customer's data, in terms of compliance, it's an easier discussion. Number two, and this has been a major pain point for a lot of companies, it's very, very difficult to adapt those closed models to your data and your use cases, right? They're a Swiss Army knife. So they work okay for a lot of different things, but when you need them to be awesome at one thing, they don't deliver, right? And so by working with your models that you're tailoring to your data and your use cases, you get maximum accuracy, maximum performance on whatever you're interested in, which is probably not cooking recipes, poetry, or astronomy questions. The third benefit in owning your models is, of course, you can right size each model to the particular problem you're trying to solve, right? And cost performance can be very different across use cases. If you want to build a chatbot application for millions of users every day, well, that's one problem. If you want to build an R&D chatbot for you know, 100 engineers working in a lab, that's a very different problem. And if you want to deploy a model on smartphones or at the edge, that's yet another problem. So one size does not fit all. And again, those closed models only give you one size. So you know, it works or it doesn't. Most of the time, it's somewhere in between. But you never really get what you hoped for. And what that means, obviously, is you cannot maximize ROI, right? You're, it's all about compromises. You know, it's OK. Who wants OK models? We don't want OK models. We want awesome models. We want maximum ROI. We want maximum performance. Since when was OK OK? It's not OK. So hopefully you haven't been living under a rock. Right, and you haven't been swallowing uh, AI marketing propaganda hook, line, and sinker over the last year or so, because the open source community has been very, very busy, not only catching up to the best closed models, but outperforming them, right? And when I mean outperforming, you need to understand what performance really means. You know, some people want you to believe performance is predicting in one millisecond. Why would I care, right? I don't need my chatbot to predict in one millisecond. I don't need my document processing app to predict in one millisecond. I need my app or my service to deliver maximum accuracy for the right price. So it's all about cost performance. Raw performance mean, means nothing, okay? We're not trying to do Formula One here. We're trying to solve business problems with the right level of cost performance for each use case. And so you can find a ton of models, right? Uh, the champions of open source AI are a company called Hugging Face. Who has heard of Hugging Face? Okay, I worked for them for three years before working for RC, so 
must have done something right. Okay, you have one million open source models on Hugging Face, so there's there's choice there. And as you can see, the gap is closing, right? So thanks to companies like Mistral or Meta, and uh, you know Google and Microsoft also share some good open source models. The gap is closing very quickly. So now you can get the same business performance with an open source model, a fraction of the size of those closed models. And you get privacy and security and compliance and tailoring capabilities and better ROI, et cetera, et cetera. So when people talk about performance and accuracy and all those benchmarks, you need to understand what those mean, right? Again, each project is a little bit different. So where do we fit? So we're the um, open small language model leader, and that's a bold statement. I'm going to back it up, okay? And we'll keep backing it up in the next few weeks. Uh, what do we do? So we work on state-of-the-art training, fine-tuning techniques. So we have a platform called RC Enterprise, which is a combination of open source libraries like MergeKit, DistillKit, et cetera, all fascinating stuff. And also some, I would say, secret sauce and you know in-house um, training recipes. And thanks to those, we start from good models like you know Llama 3 or others, and we make them even better, right? And so we deliver to the community and to our customers best-in-class models based on open architectures, right? So some of our models are available on Hugging Face. Um, this is one example, RC Lite. It's the best 1.5 billion model available today. Um, and when I say best, I mean based on the Hugging Face leaderboard uh, benchmarks, which is pretty much what everybody's looking at these days. So it's the best, right? 1.5B. Um, that's even small for a phone, right? Uh, we have the best 8B model. We started from Llama 3.1, made it even better. Okay, and just for the record, we have a 3B and a 4B that are pretty damn good, but I, I mean, I didn't want the slide to be too busy. So we have the best 8B model available anywhere. Uh, we have the best Arabic language model because, hey, you know, not everybody speaks English and Arabic and other languages are not well supported. So just to prove our point, you know, we build the best Arabic model available anywhere. And recently, we also built a new model called Supernova which is a 70B model, which is not only the best 70B model available anywhere, it's also outperforming the best closed models, and I will double click on that. So those models are great because we start from good architectures like Llama 3, Quen, etc. so the baseline models are already pretty good. And then we apply our training stack, our fine tuning stack, our data sets, our know-how, and a bit of secret sauce and we make them even better. And this goes to show there's still a ton of additional performance to get from those models, right? And keep in mind, these are still, I would say, general purpose models. So imagine the performance you could get if you took, you know, Llama 318B, our flavor of it, and fine-tuned it on, you know, customer support data or, you know, core network data. It would be massively better than anything available today. So a typical workflow looks something like this, right? And uh, there are many steps. Uh, you can, you know, you can do all those things with our libraries and our platform, and we can help you do it, or you can do it on your own. So continuous pre-training, fi instruction fine-tuning, model alignment, et cetera, et cetera, and more radical techniques like model merging, which is really a game changer. If it's the first time you hear about model merging, I would encourage you to read more about it. Uh, it's basically a technique where there is no training at all. You take several models that have the properties you're looking for. Let's say one is a, you know, has a, some baseline telco knowledge, and another one has some baseline, I don't know, IoT knowledge, why not? And you can literally merge them in from a mathematical operation, so averaging out their weights. No training involved. I can run it on my laptop in 10 minutes. No GPU, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so model merging is making model adaptation much simpler, much faster, much cheaper too, right? 
And so when we apply that training stack, we build a model like Supernova, okay? So you can all try, this is the slide you wanna take a picture of, because after the session, you definitely wanna go to supernova.rc.ai and, uh, well, check that the, the proof is in the pudding, right? Um, and of course, you can, you can get in touch with us if you wanna know more. This model is a 70 billion model that we built. So it's not only better than Llama 370 billion, it's also better than Llama 3405 billion, it's also better than uh, GPT-4.0, and it's also better than Claude 3.5 Sonnet on this uh, IF eval benchmark and others, right? So you don't have to believe me. Go and try it. Go read our blog. Figure it out. But you will see how easily you can outperform those closed, expensive models with much more cost-effective and higher-performance models like Supernova. So. Our mission is this, bye-bye closed models. We're taking customers off OpenAI and Anthropic every day, uh, saving them from the spend and uh, I guess the privacy issues that they may be afraid of. So I can only encourage you to read more about us. AI is changing everything, uh, don't doubt it. We've barely scratched the surface. So if you believe that AI is changing the world, changing your business, then how can you not own it, right? So please don't rent it. So that's us, RCAI. This is me, Julian at RC.ai. Thank you very much for inviting me. And um, get in touch later if you have questions. Thank you so much.